Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Um, it's Paula, glad to have you all here. Today we're going to jump in and do some bonus savings challenges. So without further ado, let's jump in. We are starting with 20, 40, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 66 dollars for challenges today. I'm going to jump into my primary savings challenge. So i um, actually going to go in and I'm going to start here at hair and I'll tell you why. So I, um, hair would be, my hair um, that I get done about twice a year would be something I would qualify under beauty. Um, and instead of budgeting for like the whole thing in one fell swoop, I just thought I would save some of, out of my beauty um, variable envelope as time kind of goes on and approaches when I'm ready to get my hair done. And so this um, paycheck is not um, like a pedicure paycheck, which is typically what I do with the majority of my beauty money. But... So I had $40 budgeted for it. I don't want to put all 40 in the envelope right at this moment in case something does come up, but I am going to take 20 of it. And I just colored in 20 of that um, to put in there because we're getting close to funding this. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 77 dollars in um, my haircut envelope. This is from Mischief Budgets. Now I can come back here and do some dice rolling. This is from Lisa Grateful Me. And this right now is being saved for our towards our emergency fund. Another $3, close to finishing the first sushi roll game. 25, 35, 20. 5, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And again, that will go toward our, goodness, emergency fund. All right, this is from Gentle Charm Budgets. Um, I think we're going to do... Three and a two. A five and a six. We will stop there for now. That is 11, 13, 16. So I'll put 20 in and put four back. So now in this challenge, we have 20, 35, 37 dollars. Okay, we'll pop in here. Um, okay, so let's do a four. This is from um, Daniel Craft Studio. Whoops, this um, dice savings challenge. Currently, this is um, a little bit longer term. I definitely use out of these envelopes, and I'm trying not to do that with all of them. This is. Um, long-term going to go towards my vehicle repairs and maintenance sinking fund. So I have to, um, um, work on saving that up for a total of 252 and we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Okay, let's go into the mini fall here. And I think, yeah, there's a $4 one on there. So I'm gonna bring the 20 in. And again, take 10, 15, and 16 back out, leaving us with 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 46. In that challenge, this is from um, Budgeting with Jenny. Did hair already. Let's pop 
happen to kids here. Um, let's do 10 in kids. This is also from Danielle Craft Studio. We'll do the ghost up here. In this um, sinking fund, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 42. Um, this is the kids one I use out of this. So um, I use out of it as I have to cover kids' expenses. This is my home sinking fund, same way, Gentle Charm Budgets. Let's do five in there. Um, and again, as I said, I do use out of um, the ones that are specific sinking funds, 20, 35, 45, 55, 56. What do I have? What do I have? $3. So I'm going to come in here and I'm gonna put $2 into this mini from Gentle Charm Budgets. Five, 10, 11, 12, which barring any <laughs> unforeseen circumstances is supposed to go um, into our garage slash shop supplies sinking fund. And with $1 left, I'm gonna put it in this cute little mini here with stuffs on a budget. There's four in there. I wanted to have somewhere where I could put um, rogue ones when we're like, ooh, where do we put a one? $1. That's where I'm going to put that. So that is what I have today for these savings challenges. Thank you all so much for watching this video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.